This is the principal's office. Hmm? I can hear someone talking inside. We cannot let anything get out of regarding the facts of this case. Of course that means the police too. Got it? N no, I know you say that, but... You won't tell anyone what I've said? Above all else, we must uphold this school's dignity. It has already been decided. H yes, I understand. Hmm. It sounds like the principal doesn't want anything to get out about this case. I don't think we'll ever get it straight from the principal himself. Then, what do we do? And then... The principal is not fit to be at the top. Hmm? Where did that voice come from? The principal is not fit to be at the top. What's with that emotion? Where did it come from? Everybody, please listen to me. That's... Kyoko, right? I wonder what she's yelling about. Lately, too many horrible cases have happened at this school. Enough already. We cannot excuse this situation any longer. That's why the manufactured cause of all of this is our principal who has done nothing and our class president Fumi who has done the same. In other words, it is time for a reform. For this, I am prepared to do anything. So all that yelling was Kyoko, huh? Certainly that girl is not just at odds with the class president, but the whole school, it seems. Ah. Wow, I thought she was just angry at the class president. Oh, look over there. The president's coming. Kyoko, I thought we told you to stop having speeches in the school garden. Stop this immediately. But what? How many times do we have to tell you? Oh, if it isn't the class president and her vice president's dog. But what? A dog? I'm merely voicing my concerns about the terrible events that happened during the school assembly. Just like I would at any normal school. Oh my, finally have nothing to say. <sighs> Just what you'd expect from one of the school's top heads. I've said what I said and... but still nothing? You won't even tell me what you think about my points. It looks like it's true what they say, that you're the principal's good little robot. <coughs> hey, you! If you keep insulting the president... Quit it, Vice President. It's pointless to fight with her. I... I got it. Forgive me. <laughs> Don't you keep your dog on a leash? The vice president is not a dog. Don't take your issues out on your fellow classmates. More so, if you want to continue your speech, then please prepare for the consequences. Ugh. What? You're only the class president because you're the principal's daughter. Huh? The principal is the class president's dad? Let's go, Vice President. I yeah. Hm. That damn robot lady. They left. I yeah. That was crazy. So, is it really true that Fumi is the principal's daughter? Oh, yeah. That's right. You're just a transfer student, so you wouldn't have known. Yeah, first I've heard of it. Yeah, Kyoko seems to really see the principal and the class president as her enemies. Yeah. 
Now that I think about it, there must be some reason why she hates the principal so much. Yeah. Do you have that much dissatisfaction towards the school? There has to be a reason. Yeah. Then we can definitely add Kyoko to the top of the list of possible suspects. Yeah, we should be careful around her. Yep. Is there anybody else who is sus? That Kyoko. Can't believe we can't do anything. Satomi, are you okay? Not sure if I should tell you, but... I can't excuse the president's refusal to do anything. She always gives her all. That girl knows nothing. S Satomi? My bad. I got carried away there. Pay no attention. Oh, okay. It seems that Satomi really cares about Fumi. Is this the student boardroom? Oh! If I talk to Fumi, maybe I'll get some more clues about the principal. I see. That makes sense. Alright, let's hurry up and ask her. Yeah. Excuse us. Hmm? Nobody's here. Looks like Fumi hasn't gotten back yet. What should we do? Come back later? Nah, we can wait here until Fumi comes back. And since nobody's here, this could be our chance. How about we look around this room? We might even find some clues. Huh? But is that okay? It's fine, fine. We won't disturb anything. Um, okay. I got it. Let's do it. It's a memo. There's something written on it. Fly in the sky like a bird. Swim in the sea like a fish. I want to live my life. Did someone on the student board write this? If I open this, I wonder what will be inside. Hmm? This is... There is a school yearbook in here. Oh! Everybody's school picture and name is written down in here. So there's something like that here. Well, I don't need it now. Hmm. Are there any other clues? Oh! There is something else in here. Is this a notebook? Looks like somebody hid this here. There's a name written here. Fumi Kuroki. This notebook. Doesn't this belong to the class president? Uh, obviously we have to look. Yeah, we have to investigate this too. Huh, that's just what Shiro likes to say. Really? Well, anyway, let's just skim it quickly. My life is boring. I have no clue what I am living for. Sometimes, I have no idea. I don't know why they call me the Iron Lady. I'm really not made of iron. I'm just a girl. Wow. Looks like the class president had more than one side to her. I had no idea. What are you two doing in here? Crap. We quickly returned the notebook to its spot. You guys, aren't you in the same class as us? What are you doing in the school boardroom? Um... Oh, we just had something we wanted to ask the class president about. So we were waiting here for her. What is it? 
We are investigating the events of this morning. The one behind this seems to hold a grudge with the principal. Since you're the principal's daughter, we thought you might know something. I see. That's why you're here. But I can't enlighten you in the slightest. Why? Chasing after drama? The school has ordered us not to talk about it. Oh, that's okay. There isn't anything you could tell us? Ignoring me? I cannot say anything. The school's orders are absolute. But come on! Hey, Kiske, you're being insistent. Anyway, I cannot say anything regarding this case. You must understand, as I am the class president. Um. Enough! Get out of here! We won't bother you anymore. And so, we were escorted out of the school boardroom. Jeez, couldn't even give us a little bit. It looks like getting information out of Fumi will be difficult. Yeah. Well, maybe we should start looking for other suspicious people. Hmm, okay. Hmm? I can hear somebody talking down the hallway. Are those the teachers? Hey, did you hear? They caught the person who wrote that message in the gym on the security cameras. Really? Then who was it? That... The principal is keeping that footage. Oh, really? Yeah, looks like the principal isn't going to hand it over to the police. Oh, okay. Looks like the principal wants to protect the school's image. Hey, what I've just told you, please don't tell anybody else, okay? Sure thing. Like, whoa, we heard everything. So the principal has footage of the culprit. Let's go check it out. Yeah. <laughs> 